Welcome to episode three of Gym Rescue, where I, Kale Owen, CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs, break down a gym's model, business model, their membership pricing and everything, highlight the problems that are happening right now inside of their business, and then walk through very simple solutions that this gym can implement to be able to grow and scale. My goal with this is to show you different ways that gyms can be able to scale their business, as well as if you have a similar model, you can simply just take this advice for free and implement this inside of your business so that you can reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash. All right, let's hop in. In this episode, we're talking about a gym that is in Schenectady, New York, which is kind of the outskirts of Albany, New York. The square footage is 3,000 square feet. The membership model is as follows. They have an open gym concept as one membership, and that's $45 a month. They have 100 members, so they're making $4,500 a month in reoccurring revenue from that style membership. The second membership, which is the majority of their money, is on training and by training they have semi-privates and personal training their pricing on these and the way that they sell this is different than what i'm going to suggest and it's a major problem which i'll break down and i'll show you how to change it but they're charging 15 dollars a session per person for semi-private training and they only sell session packs for that they do not do reoccurring memberships price for pt is 40 dollars an hour and again those are session packs, not reoccurring memberships. They currently have 100 open gym members, like I mentioned before, and they have 100 training clients, approximately that, so 200 total. Their current revenue is $12,000 a month. 4,500 of that is reoccurring revenue from their open gym members, which means $7,500 is coming from their training clients. Now, their profit currently is $5,000 a month, but here's the kicker. Now, $5,000, that sounds great, right? $60,000 a year, but here's the kicker. The gym owner is in the gym probably roughly around 70 to 80 hours a week because they're they're the one doing pretty much all of the training. They have minimal staff and this person is glued to everything that they're doing. And so ultimately the goal for them is to get more time back. How do I build a model that's scalable? How do I implement that so that I can get more time back as well as be able to grow my facility, get more people in, change more lives and just stack a whole bunch of cash. So let's break down first, what are the problems with this model? And then let's walk through the very simple solutions to be able to change this and grow and scale and set this gym up for success so that they can ultimately build into a million dollar facility. Problem number one, one is the pricing and membership options. The pricing is way too low. So semi-privates need to be anywhere between 119 to 149 a week for four on one semi-private training. Right now they're offering $15 per session for that. And so if you think about it, if you break it down per session, the 119, if you were gonna do 119 divided by three sessions, you would almost triple the price. It'd be $39, just under $40 a session. And so they need to not just double it, but two and a half X the price per session. And we wanna move from selling sessions and class packs to actually doing a reoccurring model. You wanna offer six month and 12 month agreements and I'll show you how the pricing should work if I was this gym. So real quick back to this and the reason why this is a problem is that currently because they're making $7,500 a month on average from their training and they have 100 clients, that means that their average client value in training is only $75 a month. That's insane, that's crazy, it's abysmal. It makes me wanna throw up. The other worst part about this is that their average client value of total, if you take their revenue with their total number of clients, is $60 a month. That's insane. If you're spending 70 to 80 hours a week inside of this business and you're only making $60 on average per client per month, that's rough, especially if you're on the floor as much as this person probably is every single week. The other piece is that they have no lead generation, so they're not running any ads. They have no way of getting new clients. Good news is they have 200 people in the gym. That's cool and you can get a lot of referrals, but at the end of the day, we still need to have a system in place so that we can consistently bring in high paying clients to be able to grow and scale. And the third thing is really this person has no time. They have minimal staff if no staff right now. So I don't have particulars on the staff, otherwise I'd break that down. But those are the three primary problems. I want to go back to one thing though on the pricing and the memberships is that you should never be selling session packs. And the reason why is because you're selling for them to exit and leave. You should always be selling reoccurring memberships because they should always be thinking that they're going to stay forever. You don't want to sell them something that they're going to finish and leave. There's so much love around this entire system, but it's interesting because they were built on the entire just buy classes and packs. But you're going to notice that when you do that, you're basically telling people only come when you can and don't buy into the entire system. They're going to buy 10 sessions and then ultimately they're going to exit and leave. Why would we run a business model like that? It doesn't make any sense because we know in fitness, we need to be able to help people for extended periods of time to help them reach their ultimate goal. No more session packs. And if you're doing that right now, you should stop. You should move everyone to a reoccurring membership. And so here's what we're going to do on solutions. First things first, we're not going to run ads. We're not going to do anything else. We're going to raise prices on training and I'll break down some of the math for you. So what we're going to do 
is we're gonna have two options for semi-private. We're gonna get rid of PTs completely because they're a time suck. And in my opinion, I would just move everyone to semi-privates. You're gonna move to two options. If you're gonna do a 12 month agreement with someone, it's gonna be 119 a week. If you're gonna move to a six month agreement with someone, it's gonna be 149 a week. But let's just say you move everyone to six month agreements. That means they come in three times a week, four on one sessions, and they're gonna get nutrition and accountability built in. That's what's gonna be needed. They can't just come in for training, otherwise your churn's gonna be high. You have to be able to provide more value than that. So you have to be able to provide nutrition advice. Again, we can't prescribe anything, but we need to provide nutrition advice and we need to hold them accountable by checking in every single week to make sure that they're on track and ultimately reaching the goals that they have for themselves. And the second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna start hiring now. You should start hiring. The reason why this person probably hasn't hired or hasn't built a staff is because they're not making enough money and they don't have the margins to be able to do that because as soon as they step off the floor, they stop making money. And so this person is technically self-employed and not really a business owner. And there's a big difference between those. Self-employed is you just have your own job. This person most likely wants to become a business owner and wants to be an entrepreneur and grow and scale. And so we need to start hiring right now. So we want to start putting up ads on Indeed, ZipRecruiter, you name it. But here's a little tip on how you can go ahead and create a steady stream of free interns and potential trainers inside of your facility. So I'll give it to you right now. Go to your local universities and colleges. Most of them have a personal training or a strength and conditioning program. What you're going to do is go to the program heads of those departments and you're going to tell them that you want to offer internship program at your facility so that these individuals that have to do an internship to complete their course and get their degree can come and have the opportunity to train inside of your facility and work for you for free. You can do a paid internship, but most of these people will do it completely for free. You can have them for 90 days. You can work through an entire onboarding process with them. And the best part about this is you get a steady stream of new people coming in and you can pick the cream of the crop to ultimately work for you and you can give them job offers and ultimately build your roster of trainers so that you're able to grow and scale your business so that you're not on the floor all the time. And that's what we would do. And so inside of our program in Gym Launch, we actually give all of this to you. So we show you how to do the entire 90 day onboarding, walk through the entire process with you to simplify all of that selfish plug that I just did for our program. Either way, back to the value. The next thing that we're going to do is once we do the pricing changes and we start focusing on hiring, we're going to then start implementing running ads because we need to start generating new leads for the business because with this pricing changes, most likely people are going to drop down to the general membership or they're going to leave. Totally okay. Because I'm going to walk through some math with you and show you how this gym can lose 80% of their members on the training side right now and still make more money. It's absolutely insane. So they want to start running ads. The ads that they should be running are again, transformational style programs. So a six week or an eight week transformation program that includes the three pillars of success within fitness, which are fitness, nutrition, and accountability. And so they're going to do that. And the person, when they come in, is going to come in for three times a week. They could even go directly into semi-private and they could charge anywhere between a thousand to $2,000 for these. It's very easy to do. And it's very easy to sell, very simple program to implement. And they could see seamlessly just walk in and start joining the program right away. And the cool part about having this open gym concept right now is that if someone says no to that, they can just join the open gym. So technically you're still going to make money off of them no matter what. Now let's run some math real quick. Forget about building a million dollar gym right now. Let's focus on just the immediate actions that need to happen. With this price increase, we expect people to leave. Totally understand. They're probably going to drop down into general training or do something like that. But here's the kicker. This person, this gym owner could lose 80% of their training members, 80%, and they would still pull in over $10,000 a month in revenue just by switching to $119 a week. Right now they're making $7,500. So they can now have just 20 clients a month paying him $119 a week. That means he would be on the floor no more than 25 hours the entire week. And so the rest of the time could be spent on ads or within the business and he could have an actual 40 hour week and just train 20 clients and still make almost $3,000 more a month than what he's currently doing on his training side, which would bring him up to roughly almost 15 thousand dollars in revenue. So we jump from 12 to 15. So we make $3,000 more and be able to pocket an extra $3,000, bringing his total profit up to $8,000, which would put him right at almost that six figure mark. Just by doing that, forget about growing and scaling. But ultimately long term, what this gym owner should be doing is really trying to grow and build that semi private program so that it becomes a semi private facility at 3000 square feet. You can have a lot of fun and you can easily build a million dollar facility just by doing that. So doing the quick math real quick, right? If we're going to back into 83, thousand dollars per month. And this person that's going to be coming in, if they're paying them 119 a week, this is what it's going to look like. $83,000 per month in order to hit that million dollar a year mark, they would only need 163 semi-private clients. That's it. Less than what they currently have. And they could be making a million dollars a year just with 163. And that's a million dollars. You could do obviously a hundred clients and do 50,000, 60,000. That's not including supplements. That's not including upsells. That's not including anything else. And so that's if they got rid of the entire open gym model, if they wanted to keep
keep it, that's fine. But what you're gonna see is that when you start diving into pricing within your facility and you start charging what you deserve and what you're worth and you start providing incredible results for clients is that the word spreads really quickly and you're gonna start having people come in and want to get those same results and they're more than happy to pay for that. And the best part is you'll find that it's a lot more fun to do that and you need way less clients in order to achieve more financial security in your business. And so that would be my adjustment. Immediately, raise your prices. You can lose up to 80% of your members and still make more money. I would start hiring right now and then I would start running ads so that you can start to backfill anyone that left and ultimately scale to over 100 clients so that you're making over $50,000 a month. And if you wanna to get to that million dollar a year mark, you can easily do it just by growing and scaling the semi-private program. Now, if you like this type of information, you found it really interesting, drop a comment down below. And if you want me to break down your business model, all you need to do is send me your numbers. So I need where your gym's located, I need your square footage, I need your monthly revenue, memberships, membership options, pricing, the whole breakdown, your churn, profit, how many hours you're spending on this. Send me all the information that you have and I will break down your business for free and give you the solutions, helping you scale to over a million dollars a year. Or if you're making a million dollars a year and you're stuck and you wanna grow even more, send me all your numbers, I'll break them down and I'll show you exactly how to scale past that. All you need to do is send those numbers to info at gymlaunch.com. I'll grab those and then you can be one of the Gym Rescue episodes. So either way, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. And if you're watching this in the high ticket group, you can just drop your stuff inside the comments right here and I will go ahead and I will break it down at one point during this entire series so that you guys can benefit from this and ultimately reach more people, change more lives and make more money. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.